Greetings everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Alright, last time we gathered the best ability in the game from Cirrus. Today, we're getting another mission. Well, looks like we only explored about half of the area. Well, we'll be back. No spoiler that in a Metroid game, there is backtracking. Looks like there's an item I didn't get there too in the middle. It's okay though, I'll get it when I come back. No big deal. I actually think that's an item that I can't get yet anyway, so... I'm trying to collect all of the items that I can get as I do it, but, you know. There is probably going to be inevitably an item collection video or two. Anyway, we are a ways off from fighting the SAX. Um, I guess it's... The whole point of the game now is to basically just get equipped enough to be able to kill that thing so that we can save something. We want to stop the X from spreading and... So far, they're only contained on SR388 and this space station. As long as we can keep them there, we're good. Alright, anyway, we're going to travel to Sector 3, PYR, or Pyro, Pyre, whatever you want to call it, Pyre. It's a pretty cool name. Go to the data room there. Can't get to the data room here because apparently it's behind a level 4 lock and... Adam doesn't want to open those locks just yet, because he's a jerk. That's okay, though. As you can probably guess by the name of Sector 3, Pyre, it is a fire-based section. We're going to be careful in there, because we don't have a various suit yet. And, um, we take a lot of damage from heat. Yeah, you can turn into a ball while shine sparking, but you can't actually do the ball spark that you can do in Zero Mission. Unfortunately, otherwise I'd be doing that shit all the time, because that is awesome. Alright, welcome to Sector 3. That's a relatively moderately sized sector. Not too huge. And apparently the X aren't here yet. But that's okay. I have a feeling that they're going to be here soon. So that the the data room is behind another security hatch. We've done this before. We have to unlock the level 2 security doors now. As you can see in the top right here by the map, it has all four levels of locks signified by their colors. We have the blue unlocked already. I don't know, but it looks like by the end of the game, we're probably going to have all four of them open. I just have a feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get on with it, man. Get on with it. I got stuff to do. Things to shoot in the face. Okay, thank you for telling me that. Couldn't have figured it out by your graphic. The level 2 hatches are green. And we'll have triple firepower. How fancy! Yeah, that's right. Super missiles are going to triple the damage that our regular missiles do. Pretty snazzy, if you ask me. Alright, let's get to it. So yes, Adam was not lying. This sector is actually devoid of all monsters right now. Pretty good. Fancy shine sparking there. Holy shit, look at them skills. Well, that was easy. Yeah, this mission's gonna be pretty short. Um, there really isn't a lot to do, and there it's kind of a contrast to uh, Sector 2, Tro, that we had to do where we had to explore a lot of outside of the map areas. Here, it's pretty much gonna be a straightforward thing. Those of you who don't know about the Shine Spark, if you save it and shoot yourself towards a slope, it will keep it going. So, theoretically, if you can find an area with a lot of slopes, you could Shine Spark forever. There is an area later on that's designed specifically for that, and there's also a lot of puzzles designed specifically for that, for getting items. So, we will get to those when we get to those. We have to go into this room in order to have enough room to do that. And here's the demonstration of the slope. Yeah. So as you can see, 
Opening the security doors unleashed the X into the area. Kind of a nice touch. And I'm proving a point over here. This is the one part where you can't get past without having the super missiles. This is where the game forces you to grab a missile. Um, and you can't get a 0% game. As I demonstrated in my 0% run, the only way to skip that is to use um, tool assistance in order to slow down the game in order to get past that. You can actually save a shine spark all the way up that corridor. But you have to be incredibly precise, and it's impossible, I think, for... I mean, I've never seen any human who could do it in real time. Impossible. And this is the missile. That's the culprits. It's okay, though. This is a 100% run, so I'm collecting everything. No need to skip it this time. Alright, these guys are kind of like side hoppers, but not this, um, not as dangerous. They don't shoot the needles out of their sides. They do take three missiles to kill, though, right now. Nothing up there just yet. It's killing me, though! I want to get up there. Oh, well. Yes, I won't. Might as well get our data. Alright, we've got ourselves some super missiles. Now, cool point in this game, super missiles, you don't actually have to switch to them. They automatically take over the regular missiles, so... Your missile count counts for the super missiles. And I heard a nasty thing explode. Oh, look at that. We've got a hole in the floor. Can't go left. This sector's taking a lot of damage. Fuck the save room. Fuck the recharge. Don't need it. Just gonna keep moving. Now the super missiles take out those almost side hopper guys in one hit. Very nice. Anyway, well, it looks like we've hit a dead end. I really don't know what to do. Can't go to the right. Can't go to the left. Uh, let's go back this way. Now, there's supposed to be a boss in this room, but I forgot to go all the way to the left. You actually have to go all the way to the left in this room over here to trigger the boss for some crazy reason. I don't know. The flag must be over about here. Shit's going down now. And it's boss time! I mean, it's boss time. There we go. We have a rogue security robot. You can't shoot it from the sides. You have to shoot it in the center. It shoots out a bomb. Um, basically, when it shoots out the bomb, you want to go right over where it lands, because it will shoot fire on both sides. That's about it. Not much of a strategy to it. You just want to watch out for it, because it can get a little dangerous, but after fighting Saris, this seems like nothing. To be totally honest, if you can get a charge shot off uh, and a few super missiles, that's okay, but I'm pretty sure super missiles do more damage than a charge shot right now. Anyway, we have defeated it. Kind of. It's gonna run away. And we can't be damaged by the falling debris. Nice thing is, though, it carved a path out for us. Let's see what's over here. Oh, mm, I don't have an item that can break that block yet. I guess I'll have to come back later. Alright, before we continue on, we're going to want to shine spark up here and grab this missile pack. Once again, traveling to the right, we can't get over there yet. We need to have a different item. Those of you who have played Metroid games before will know what that symbol means. So you can probably guess what the item's going to be. Oh, hello there, energy tank. Do pretty good, though. Now we have 399 health. Kind of good in hard mode. If we were playing normal mode by now, we would have, what, six extra energy tanks? We have twice as much health. But this isn't Namby Pamby mode, this is hard mode. What do you take me for? Anyway, like I said, that mission's gonna be really short. It's actually over already. Nothing to write home about. We grabbed our super missiles, we got outs. That's all there is to it. So we're gonna save it right here. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.